that's a crisis, then you have what you have quite identified, where communities then take it upon themselves mm. uh, to bring or to ensure that the services are afforded to them. However, this then becomes a class distinction or a class issue because it's only those who have access to means yeah. who are able to provide those services at the expense of others. Yeah, solar panels, inverters, all of these sort of things are very expensive. Many people, Palile, quite right, can't afford that. So would you go as far to say that our government is in violation of basic human rights? Absolutely. The Constitution is quite clear. It is the responsibility of the state to ensure that it delivers on its mandate to deliver progressively on the rights as per the Bill of Rights, particularly the socio-economic rights, which include the right to water, the right to housing, the right to education, the right to a clean environment, and the right to health. And all of these socio-economic rights, if you look across the country and across municipalities, are in a dire state. The images you are showing, for example, are of damage that has occurred more than a year ago, in some instances two years ago, and in others, more than a decade ago that has not been fixed. Uh, and this is a serious challenge and a deprivation and a violation of the rights of um, of citizens as per the Constitution. Uh, let me ask you this just in closing, Palilia. I don't want to rush you, but do you get a sense when we hear politicians say that it's up to all of us, it's a collective responsibility as a country, both government, the private sector and citizens, it's all of our responsibility to fix these problems? I would contend, no, it's not. There is taxpayers' money being used. There are politicians being voted into power. It's not the fault of the average citizen. It's a failure of government. Do you agree or disagree with me? Well, uh, to some extent, I think government is right when they say that there's a collective responsibility amongst all of us uh, to ensure that our constitutional democracy is healthy and it is upheld. However, what that means has to be interrogated quite closely. It is the responsibility of the state to bring about and to deliver the services as per the constitution and enabling legislation. And that responsibility cannot then be uh, delegated to citizens uh, out of their own pockets. However, it is equally the responsibility of citizens to ensure that they safeguard and take care of the infrastructure that is available uh, to them via the state. In many instances in communities, you see the very unfortunate instance when protest in particular results in the damage to infrastructure yeah. which then doubles or sometimes triples the problem you are protesting against one problem but at the end of the protest you are left with the multiple problems and those are some of the responsibilities of communities to ensure so it is a collective i suppose one could argue it is a collective but i would still uh, contend palila while i do agree with you that uh, it is the elected officials which have led to many many municipalities down but i take your point